hello guys today i will tell you how to do uh, how to do modeling for running uh, a model in rt lab or real time simulator so there are some steps are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 steps are there at first steps you have to do subsystem you have to make at least two subsystem if your model is like uh, not that much complex so you have to make at least two subsystem so let's take look how you do subsystem one subsystem will be for uh, output only to look outputs or you can uh, outputs only yeah for outputs only and another subsystem that will be like all other calculation parts and everything will be there with that subsystem and yeah if if the uh, if there is in that calculation part if there is one input it's like uh, suppose you are modeling one solar so and it's like uh, while running you are changing the irradiation of that solar system manually so if you have that kind of input in your model means you are giving input uh, to the system while that system is running uh, so you have to keep that uh, source is that input sorry that's that input in and uh, means uh, in uh, that subsystem where you uh, kept output parts only means suppose workspace uh, or um, display or um, scope like this so you have to do yes, main thing is you have to make two subsystem one is for uh, on output plus variable uh, plus manually change variable input means those input when you uh, those inputs you uh, you need to give while the system is running and other subsystem will be uh, it will be like uh, all other calculation okay so next is yeah that is the, uh, that's only the thing so you have to do that, uh, that one so look here look here closely Sorry. yeah if you have any feedback connection if you have any feedback connection so you have to do that kind of feedback connection on picture number two you can look look you have to uh, make two subsystem okay and you have to keep that feedback uh, feedback connection also if you have any feedback connection here and the third part here grouping into subsystem here it's that same thing if you have any um, in a variable input you have to put that with a subsystem that you have uh, display or scope anything and uh, the main thing is like you have to at least make two subsystem okay and you have to give two other two type uh, two names okay just for common things means uh, suppose assume your system is not that much um, complex so look this sc here you can look here in this picture you can look scgui so you have to name that this model uh, um, um, scgui named this subsystem is which one this one is only scope means output that you need to look and uh, the, those inputs that you need to change manually when the system is running okay that one is sc subsystem you have to name like that sc underscore anything and that other part sm underscore anything computational part but all other calculation and everything it should be there so for now it is like if if i assume like your system is not that much complex so you can you have you have to do at least two subsystem and name of those two subsystem will be like this okay and yeah it's like for more uh, if it is your system is complex you don't need to know these things now uh, we'll make uh, some more videos on that look here here naming at least means that uh sc part there there should be one sc part and there should be one sc sm part and if like more than two subsystem then it will come like ss okay let's 
check it on let's do it on matlab how it uh yeah matlab how it will will come so you have to suppose there is one system uh so i may i assume one system the competition part is here okay let's take it you guys let's make one new surface part I assume that there is no input that I need to change so I assume that I don't have any feedback connection on my system I just assume some fixed constant input i need to give to a uh, uh, um, uh, i just need only constant input and some after some calculation it's going to output and this normal i'm just assuming a full normal uh, one system so full normal system you how can you um, run this system model uh, in, uh, in rt lab we'll make uh, more videos on how to do co with complex one so it's like i assume here no feedback connection so this calculation part will make one subsystem and this calculation uh, this means output part only will make one subsystem so now we have to give name so there should be at least two name what it is this one is at, uh, sc is fixed you have to give sc sc underscore anything okay and for this one the competition part one sm underscore anything okay now you have to do where, where the input is coming this sc subsystem here input is coming so you have to add here one upcoming block from rt lab look here from rt lab you will get when you install rt lab automatically this library will come to your matlab Simulink library, so you have to add this here. Okay, still you have to add it. This is this video is only about just the modeling part of one simple uh, system. So you model design that system for uh, sorry, uh, Artila. Okay, that's it. Just just it's uh, yeah finish so one simple subsystem you have to model like this if okay let's uh, let's go then if the model is like has any uh, feedback connection if suppose any feedback connection from here to here from this ac subsystem to sm subsystem if any feedback then what you have to do suppose this these two are coming from sc not from here then you have to add here one more we'll make videos on this also you have to make uh, you have to add this here this upcom block here you have to add here upcom here let's if only if the condition is only if these two connection it, it, it this two will be not here be not here if these two connection is coming from as feedback as feedback from num sc subsystem then you have to add that uh, upcom block here also otherwise no need of adding upcom block here only uh, you need to add upcom block here at SC subsystem where you need to look those up uh, uh, what result you need to look and some setting you have to change of model advisor configuration parameter that look you have to what you have to do start start time is zero and stop time you should give stop time is infinity we should set infinity better otherwise you may be you can face uh, you can face uh, overrun problem and of course uh, solver type is uh, obviously fixed shape and 
type is fixed type and solver you can uh, select any uh, don't don't select auto you just select manually some uh, uh, sub, uh, some solver from here and solver details you have to give here fixed type size you must have to give some fixed type size here don't um, uh, keep it uh, like default auto you have must you have to keep give some value here fixed type size value Okay, and that's it for today guys we'll uh, we'll make so many more videos it's just um, normal just a full basic things for rt lab okay for complex model and and for so many things we'll make so many videos future on future uh, so many videos will come on rt lab also on matlab also so for this video only uh, just i'm just giving basic knowledge how you how you need to uh, design a simple very simple model for running in the lab thank you guys